Great news. We can feed the world without factory farming. We don't need to be cruel to farm animals to feed humanity. Sadly, some policymakers still believe that more intensification, more factory farming is the way forward. They're wrong. That is the conclusion of new research, commissioned jointly by Compassion and Friends of the Earth, from two leading academic institutions in the field in Europe, the Institute for Social Ecology in Austria and the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research in Germany. Their report shows that we can keep animals free range in more humane conditions and feed the world without swallowing up more wildlands, more wildlife areas in the ultimate win-win solution. The report has a number of important recommendations, including to governments and intergovernmental agencies such as the UN Food and Agriculture Organization. Recommendations to help incentivize and support moves away from industrial agriculture to those more extensive systems that we need now and into the future. What the report is saying is that we need to move to a future where we eat better meat, perhaps less of it in the Western world, to enable animals to be kept in decent conditions, our wildlands to be protected, and people across the world to be fed properly and decently. One of our biggest challenges is feeding a growing population in a finite world fairly, humanely and sustainably. Thankfully, we have the farmers of tomorrow with us today. We just need to make sure that we support them, that we encourage them through our policy mechanisms, through our choices as consumers, and ensure that we buy free range or organic produce, for example. In this way, we can all help to make sure we go beyond factory farming to a better way to produce our food, a way that's better for animals, better for people and better for the planet.